when I was 16, I sorted all my emails and hit the road. Have you ever made a smile about a business trip or something serious? Think about it. Roxy VA. I think we should seriously talk about your name, Roxy. I'm afraid your career choices may be limited to a uh, limousine groupie or maybe an American gladiator. Something involving you wearing scantily clothes. You don't meet too many professors of women's studies named Roxy. As for business trips, the cheat and I are being sent to a conference in just a few seconds here. The cheat, you ready to row? Sure am, Sam. Hey, you're not the cheat. No, not anymore. The cheat got promoted to junior executive of not having to go on pointless business trips. What? I've been trying to get that job for years. So it's just gonna be me and you, sleeping out under the stars, roasting some marshmallows. Homestar, this is a business trip, not a camping trip. Oh, oh, I see. Guess I shouldn't have bought these then. All right, Homestar, we gotta start talking loudly about our business trip, so everyone around us knows we're on a business trip. Uh, continental breakfast? More like incontinental breakfast. Yeah, seal the deal, seal the deal. Homestar, what are those jangles? No, oh, airport security. You know how it is these days. Whoa, my eyes. Well, hurry up. We gotta get there before the keynote starts so we can ditch out five minutes after the keynote starts. Welcome to reducing your business's carbon footprint is not a matter of buying everyone smaller shoes. Please allow me to begin. That's our cue. And we'll go ahead and break for lunch. Man, there's nothing like a couple of ice-cold expense account ones while on a business trip. Boy, I'll say, I've been going nuts with our lanyard podium. Let's see what's next on the itinerary. Take off wedding rings, check. Complain about hotel mattress, check. Talk about how our dogs are killing us. Uh, we're not quite there yet. Collect dry twigs for kindling. That's a check. Meet hot female executives for drinks. Mm, mostly check. Oh, crap. We gotta go seal the deal with the foreign conglomerate in ten minutes. It's not a moment too soon. I think I heard a bell rustling in the woods. All right, gentlemen, here's how this is going to go down. I'm going to write a number on this piece of paper. Uh, King, you wrote a piece of lasagna on this piece of paper. Hey, I ain't budging. Now, where are those units? What units? I thought we were just here to seal the deal. Oh, Strongbad wouldn't let me bring all of them. But I did manage to smuggle these two past airport security. What does sense make? All right, I'll take it. You boys drive a soft bargain. Oops, Smith, prepare the bathtub. Well, cramp my style. We sealed the deal. Go ahead, Homestar. You, you've earned it. My dogs are killing me. But the real reason for business trips is to buy last-minute peanut brittle and crappy souvenirs from airport gift shops for your kids. Oh, wow. Oh, see? It's an airplane that swims and loves St. Louis. Oh, wow. Fine, then. But strong model appreciated. No, I won't! <laughs> A peanut brittle could have swam better than that. Cool, refreshing, expense account ones make everything go down smooth. Including that moron from delivery receivables they sent you on the road with. Yes, that's right. He just made a you-go-girl joke.